Greetings everyone, myself Nikhil Doer. Today we will take a look at the wonderful feature descriptor called Brief. This paper is published by Michael Callendor and his team from CV Lab of EPFL, Switzerland. This paper was published in ECCV Journal in 2010. Let's begin with a small introduction on Brief. Nowadays, feature descriptors have become core of various computer vision techniques like object recognition, 3D reconstruction, etc. Therefore, we need these descriptors to be fast and memory efficient. So the team thought, what if our descriptors would be shorter in length? A shortness in the length could be obtained by applying dimensionality reduction techniques such as PC or LDA. And even more drastically, dimensionality reduction can be obtained by using hash functions that reduce the SIF descriptors to binary strings. In this paper, you can clearly see that the whole computation can be cut short by using the binary strings from image patches so that we don't need to use the long strings and then use this dimensionality reduction techniques to cut to make it even shorter. Now let's take a look at the related work in the field of feature descriptor. And the very first feature descriptor came was SIFT, Scale Invariant Feature Transform, which gave a 120th dimension feature vector as its descriptor. Then came SURF, Speeded Up Robust Features, which gave 64 dimension feature vector. Shortening of the descriptor length is possible by the following three methods. Number one, PC or LDA. PCA is very easy to perform and can reduce descriptor size at no loss in recognition performance. LDE requires label training data and can improve performance but can also lead to overfit and degrade performance. Second way to shorten a descriptor is to quantize its floating point coordinates into integers coded on fewer bits. For example, the DC descriptor PCA and um, it is a combination of PCA and quantization to reduce its size to 60 bits. Next, using uh, locality sensitive hashing, um, we could turn the floating point vectors into binary strings. But in each of these three methods, first we need to compute the larger descriptor, which involves substantial amount of time consuming computation. In this paper, brief will build short descriptors directly by comparing intensities of pair of points. Let's take a look at the method provided in the paper. They have defined a test tau on the patch P of size S cross S, where pair of pixels in intensity is compared with each other. The higher pixel is assigned 1 and the lower one is assigned 0. So with which parameters can we experiment? Number one is a smoothing kernels and number two is spatial arrangement of binary test. As you saw in the previous slide, the equation is highly prone to noise as it is dependent only on pair of pixels. Therefore, by smoothing, we can reduce the sensitivity and increase stability and repeatability of the descriptors. Before we look into the results of experimentation of smoothing, um, Variance of the kernel has been varied from 0 to 3 in this paper. As you can clearly see in the graph, the recognition rates remain relatively constant in the 1 to 3 range and in practice they have used a value of 2. For the corresponding discrete kernel window, the paper found a size of 9 cross 9 pixels be necessary and sufficient. Here, in the spatial arrangement of binary test, they have experimented with five sampling geometries to decide in the location of test to, to find the D test locations in the equation. These are the equation. Uh, these are the arrangements of special. Uh, these are the special arrangements of binary test. In this graph, we can see the symmetrical and regular G phi strategy loses 
loses out against all the random designs from G1 to G4, with G2 enjoying a small advantage over the other three in most cases. For this reason, in all further experiments presented in this paper, it is the own it is the only one they will use. Next, we'll take a look at the results of the descriptors. But before that, we'll take a look at which it will be compared with, and a little information of dataset will be followed. The paper has compared its result with use of descriptors since. Uh, surf descriptor is variant to orientation therefore we will use u surf in which u stands for upright meaning orientation is ignored and the surf descriptor returns a 64 dimensional floating point vector and requires uh, 256 bytes of storage uh, as as if we talk if we're going to talk about the data set now our data set consists of six test images. Each one has five image pairs. Here we can see the, um, the six images with the corresponding five image pairs. The six uh, test images are wall, graffiti, fountain, JPEG, light and trees. This data set is specifically designed to test robot robustness to viewpoint changes specifically in wall graffiti and fountain next is a compression artifacts which is uh, in designed in jpeg illumination changes are tested by light and image blur uh, is tested by trees for evaluation paper relies on elapsed time and recognition rate so how is this uh, recognition rate computed Pick an interest point from first image, find corresponding endpoints in the paired, paired image and compute associated descriptor. For each point in the first image, find corresponding nearest neighbor in the next. Count the number of correct matches, therefore recognition rate will be number of correct matches over the number of interest points. Now we will take a look at the results in the recognition rate described as a function of feature descriptor. In all the experiments, we can clearly see the brief descriptor outperforms the other descriptors in terms of recognition except graffiti. This graffiti dataset requires strong rotation invariance which is lacked by our descriptor. Orientation correction should be avoided especially when using a mobile phone with orientation sensor. Here you can see that brief 64 outperforms surf and user in all sequences except graffiti while using a descriptor that is four times smaller. Brief 32 does not do quite as well but still compares well against surf and user. Brief 64 is too short and shows the limits of the approach. And the point to be noted is the number of key points is constant that is 512 here number of key points are constant but but next uh, but up next you will see that it has near to zero effect on the result what if number of key points were high we can clearly see that in every scenario brief has outperformed um, outperformed to use Next, we'll take a look at recognition rates as a function of number of tests. We clearly see a saturation effect beyond 200 tests for the easy cases and an improvement up to 512 for the others. This tallies with the results from the previous figures showing that brief 32 yields near optimal results for the short base pairs and brief 64 is more appropriate for the others. What if we change the feature detector which detects the key points after experimentation the paper has came to conclusion that we should use sensor key points instead of surf key points the recognition rate um, shown in the graph has clearly increased 
we know brief is orientation variant so let's look at its orientation sensitivity it can tolerate small amounts of rotation up to 10 to 15 degrees there is a little degradation followed by a massive blow. surf which attempts to compensate for orientation changes does better for large rotation but worse for small ones thus highlighting it once again that orientation invariance comes at cost we run brief 32 on a small image rotated using the orientation estimated by we have taken a brief look at recognition rate now let's look at the speed of brief matching typically involves three, te three steps we can take a look at this table and draw out the conclusions first step is detection by looking at the table you can see in surf the first step can involve a costly scale space search for local max in the case of brief any fast detector such as sensor or fast can be used Second is description. We observe a 35 to 41 fold speed up over surf where the time for performing and storing the test remains virtually constant. Next, matching. We observe a 4 to 13 fold speed up over surf. The matching time scales quadratically with the number of bits used in brief, but the absolute values remain extremely low within the useful range. We have discussed the brief descriptor that relies on a relatively small number of intensity differences test to represent an image patch as a binary stroke. Because of these experiments, we can conclude that brief has higher recognition rates as long as there are small in image rotations. As part of the future work, people can incorporate orient, uh, orientation and scale invariance orientation invariant and scale invariance in brief and can use fast orientation estimators. These are the references which are looked up to make this paper presentation possible but most importantly it would not be possible because of constant support and feedback from Dr. Subramaniam Gautri. Thank you all for watching my video.